Small dog breeds that stay small and don't shed. There are a wide variety of small dog breeds available these days. Many of these dogs were bred to be lap dogs and just enjoy the laid back, chilled out lifestyle. Now, if you live in a tiny apartment, you need a small dog that won't cause too much trouble. You also need one that won't shed excessively or you'll be running a vacuum through your studio once a day. So to know which tiny furry creature that doesn't shed will be your next best friend, keep watching. Number 10, Basenji. The Congo was the first place where they discovered the Basenji dog breed outside Africa. These dogs hunted by scent and sight and were initially used to flush small game into hunters' nets and regulate village rodent populations. They also made outstanding, loving, furry family members these days. These clever and endearing dogs make excellent companions for individuals or couples who can keep one step ahead of them. In fact, the Basenji can be a genuinely frightening and one-of-a-kind dog. The good news is they have no distinct odor and shed very little. Their coat is fine and doesn't require much attention other than the occasional brushing either, so you don't have to worry about having a high-maintenance pup. Unlike many other dogs on this rundown, they also don't require trimming. They are sometimes referred to as the barkless dog, though they are not entirely silent. They are, however, reticent, making them ideal for apartment living. Moreover, they are adaptable to apartment living and even inexperienced pet owners will find these pups to be excellent first-timer dogs. Simply ensure that you can provide enough exercise to keep up with their high energy levels. You'll need to make time for walks and playtime. Number 9. Bolognese No, we're not talking about the pasta sauce. The Bolognese is a small companion breed from Italy, and they are calm, obedient dogs with long, fluffy, pure white hair. They are playful, easygoing, and enjoy being around people. They are also an ancient breed known in Roman times by royals and noblemen, and were given as valuable gifts between the rich and privileged. More importantly, these little guys are fiercely loyal. They can be shy around strangers, but they will warm up quickly if adequately socialized. Just keep in mind that because they're so social, they sometimes get anxious when left alone. If you work from home, they're a good option, but if you work a 9-to-5 job or sometimes work late, you'll be coming home to a very sad pup. While this breed isn't as well known as others, their strikingly fluffy coat that does not shed sets them apart, but they are pretty high maintenance like poodles. If you're giving yourself a spa session at home, include the Bolognese too. Number 8. Chinese Crested The lovely and skinny Chinese Crested cannot be confused with any other breed with the spotted pink skin, silky, crested hairstyle, furry socks, and fluffy tail. The hairless variation has smooth, soft skin with hair tufts on the head, tail, and ankles. The coated variety, known as the Powder Puff, has a soft, silky coat. Aside from the coat, the Powder Puff and its nearly naked brother are incredibly similar. Both types are distinguished by fine-boned beauty and graceful movement. This breed does not shed much because it does not have a lot of hair to shed. The majority of its body is hairless. Some of them have very fine hair, but it sheds so infrequently that it barely counts. They do, however, require special care due to their lack of hair. The Chinese Crested is sensitive to harsh environments and frequently needs sunscreen and other protective measures. So make sure you're attentive to your furry friend's needs. Number 7. Havanese The only dog breed indigenous to Cuba, the Havanese, are cheerful little dogs. They have a spring in their step and a shine in their big brown eyes. These lively and socially active companions are becoming increasingly popular among city dwellers in the United States. Havanese are ideal city dogs due to their small but strong bodies, adaptable nature, and social competence. Havanese are naturally intelligent dogs and are trainable social creatures. Havanese are excellent watchdogs who take their job seriously but usually keep their barking to a minimum. Their coat does not shed at all, but it does need to be brushed regularly. Because of Havanese's dynamic nature, they are prone to getting dirty, so we recommend regular baths as well. These canines are very social and adaptable too. They thrive in almost any environment, including cities and apartments. If you are a first-time dog owner, they're easily trainable and very intelligent, so you won't have to struggle there either. Number 6. Lhasa Apso The extravagantly coated Lhasa Apso is a thousand-year-old type of dog that served as sentinels at Himalayan palaces and monasteries. 
Lhasas are family comedians who are majestically introverted with strangers. They are intelligent, confident, and complex. Lhasas are small but tough dogs with an aristocratic bearing, standing less than a foot tall at the shoulder. They're known for their floor-length, flat-hanging coat parted in the middle and draped down each side of the body. The Tibetan breeds have a feathery tail that curls over the back. Fans of the species believe that the dark, oval-shaped eyes peering through lush facial hair are the windows to the Lhasa's happy soul. Moreover, this small dog is remarkably relaxed and confident. Lhasa Apso enjoys brisk walks and requires some exercise daily. They do, however, spend a lot of time loafing in their owner's laps. They do not shed, but their coats do need to be groomed on a regular basis. They will require frequent grooming because their fur never stops growing. You can avoid brushing their hair daily by giving them a puppy cut, which usually keeps their hair short. Number 5. West Highland White Terrier The West Highland White Terrier is adorably cute. They resemble white puffballs. They do, however, shed very little and require very little care if compared to the other dogs on this rundown. They are small dogs, however, they are surprisingly strong. They were bred to chase small animals such as rats and other rodents, so they do have a practical build. They don't need as much attention as other breeds and will chase almost anything that moves. They are difficult to train because they were bred to hunt independently. However, they are very loyal and try very hard during training time. Their attention span is just not as excellent as other dogs when it is about training. Number 4. Affenpinscher Try saying that five times fast. The Affenpinscher is a fascinating breed. Many people believe they resemble the Ewoks from Star Wars. These dogs are incredibly small, standing no more than a foot tall. They can only weigh 10 pounds and many are much smaller. This dog exudes confidence and pride. They are self-sufficient and as a result, extremely difficult to train. Their fur is thick and shaggy. However, they do not shed and their coat requires very little maintenance. Because they can be stubborn, we don't suggest them to first-time owners. Number 3. Bichon Frise The Bichon Frise does not shed at all not a single hair. However, their hair does grow constantly and they will need grooming frequently. Brush them daily for silky, shiny fur and get them trimmed regularly. The Bichon Fries get along well with both children and other dogs, making friends with anyone and everyone they meet. And thanks to their size, they make a great apartment dog too. Number 2. Brussels Griffin The Brussels Griffin is available in two varieties and neither of them shed. They do require some grooming regularly, but they are typically low maintenance compared to the other breeds on this rundown. They don't need a lot of exercise, a majority struggle with a short walk or even some indoor playtime. They are devoted dogs who need the company of humans to be content. They don't do so well when left alone at home for long periods of time and prefer to be accompanied. As a result, they can be prone to isolation anxiety. Number 1. Coton de Tulir this fancy fluffy dog has a unique non-shedding coat. Weighing no more than 13 pounds, their fur is said to resemble cotton, which is actually how they got their name. They were bred to be lap dogs and that is precisely how they behave today. The Caton de Tulir is an entertaining dog to be with. They have distinct vocalizations and can be pretty noisy, though it isn't usually the typical barking you'd expect from a dog. In many cases, they can also wander on their rear legs and give a bit of a show. So, which of these dog breeds are you getting? Tell us in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like, share, and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.